Okay, so this is code.org CS Discoveries Unit 2, Lesson 11, Part 2. We're just going to finish this up with a few exercises. First one here is to create borders. So they want us to find the rules in the style sheet that set the image borders color and width and change the color and width of the borders. So we've got some choices dotted, dash, solid, and double. So let's do that in the style.css. We've got our image here. Let's go border style. We've got solid. Let's change this to dotted, see what that looks like. Okay, and we've got dots here. We can also change this to dashed. And you have dashes around the image. And we've got, we did solid already. Let's try a double. And we've got a double line around the border. Okay, next, so let's change the width as well. So let's change the border width to, right now it's at 4 pixels. Let's change it to 10 pixels. Oh, put an extra PX on there. There we go. Um, and then they want us to put another border around another type of element. So you could do borders not just around pictures, but you can do it maybe around paragraphs if we wanted. So let's try that. So border width 10 pixels. Border style dashed. and border color aquamarine why not and we will do what was the last one we missed border radius okay border radius and that was how the corners look so border radius let's say 10 pixels so that gives us a little bit of a curve on the border. All right. Okay, let's move on to exercise B here. For this one, they want us to look at the border radius property inside of the image set. So we'll go to style at CSS. We've got our image set of rules, and we've got border radius at 10 pixels. Okay, so this one changes how the border looks. If I change it to 15, You'll see this changes here on the corner. Watch, I'll go back to five, and it's a very a more sharp corner. So let's change it back. Let's maybe say 20. So now it's a nice curved corner on that. All right, a couple more here. We've got extra code margins. So margins uh, determine how much space is around an element. Uh, wants us to go to the margins on the images. So let's go to style.css, find our image rules. Our margin is set to 10 pixels. So our image, if you see this blue line here, that's where the desserts is lined up and actually where the text box is lined up as well. However, the image is 10 pixels in. So if we change this to, sorry, we're like looking at margin. Let's go to margin. If we change this from 10 to 20, then it gives even more space. And it's actually space around all sides of the image. So if I go to 30, it's going to put even bigger space around it. But I'm going to go back and let's just do 15. So let's go ahead and go to the paragraphs and give those a margin too. Margin. Now let's do 15 pixels on those as well. So now our paragraphs are shifted over as well, just like the pictures were. And we have some space in between paragraphs of 15 pixels. All right, next one, we want to change the background image to a URL. So uh, right now, instead of the background being a color, this is uh, showing up as an image. So that's nice. So let's go ahead and look at the style at CSS. If you go to the body rules, we have background image as a URL, and the URL is the background cloud.jpg, which is actually uh, an image here. So we can go ahead and change it to cirrus.jpg. And now we have a cirrus cloud in the background, which is actually looks like the same as this first image here. So you could change it to something else. You could download an image online and um, use that image as well, or you could uh, put a link to an image. All right, for this next step, we're going to um, 
add a background color or image for the page. So let's do that first. Let's go. Looks like we don't have any CSS rules yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a CSS. And right now it's called new.css, so you just got to make sure if you don't change the name that you link it. But I'm going to go ahead and rename this to style.css so that I'm, I can have consistency. So it's got some set uh, rules here. Well, let's change the background. We can change it to a color or an image. Um, I'm just going to change it to a color. Uh, maybe light blue. And then we want to make the images have a consistent height or width. So let's make some rules for image. Remember, you got to type IMG, and then in the curly braces, you can write your rules. So let's have the rule be width 400 px for pixels. And if we look down here, they should all be the same width. Yep, that worked out. Okay, next we need to give the headings unique styles font family, color, size, decoration, etc. So let's make it blue and let's make some similar rules for the other size headings. What do we got? I'm just copying and pasting so I'm going to make H3 here. I don't know if we have any more. Do we have an H2 maybe? H2. All right. And then, are there any other headings? We can turn our inspector on and see what the other headings are. That's a H6. That's a H6. Okay, so we could just write another rule in style of CSS for H6. So I'm going to copy these rules, and I'm going to change them in a minute, but I just want to make it easier to quickly change the rules. So we've got H1. I'm going to change this just so I'm in order 3 and h6. All right, so maybe I want my h2s to be crimson. Is that a color that it's going to accept on here? I don't know. Maybe not. So color for h2. Let's see if we can find something. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. There we go. So color crimson. All right, h3 color C green and I'm just picking different colors there we can change the font families on these if we want font dash family cursive maybe we'll change the h1 font dash family monospace and maybe we'll change this one font dash family and to see. There we go. So we've got just a little bit of differences in, in uh, what we have as far as the fonts go. That's kind of hard to read though. Um, float all the images to the left. Make sure the images have a consistent height or width. So we've got the width there and we're going to float them to the left. So in the image, float left. Now the images should all be on the left side and the text on the right. Put a margin and green border around the images. So we're still on the images. So let's say margin. Let's do a 10 pixel margin. So we'll get a little space around the images. See that space there. And then we'll do a border as well. So border width, say 10 pixels. Border color, uh, aquamarine, why not? And let's do, whoops. Border style uh, dashed. Okay, I don't like that. We're going to go solid instead. Solid, and then let's go border radius, and let's do 10 pixels. Okay, so now I've made some changes to the border of these. All right, if you want to make any other changes, you can as well. This one, you really just, are, it's up to you how you want to change it. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this one for now and do our last one, which is the dessert web page. They want a background color. So let's go to add CSS. Let's rename this. 
style.css and it looks like it put it in there which is nice. So we're going to go ahead and do a background color and teak white. Okay, and then let's fix the heading sizes h1 one Want size 20 pixels let's see what's wrong with the heading um, desserts that doesn't look good let's make these h1s h5 let's see so you can change some of these um, Oh, that looks looks okay. Let's fix the the images though too. So we can give unique styles for the headings. Um, here it's kind of up to you how what you want to do. You can change the color or whatever you like here, and you can do that for all of the different headings. So I could copy this and create another one, and you can do this for the other ones as well for H two, three, and four. Uh, you can give them different colors. Um, I'm just kind of picking random ones here and font size. Let's make this one a little bit smaller. So let's do 15 or maybe 18. All right. So we just changed some things there. Um, let's round the edges of the images. So if we go to the image, do we have any image tag yet? Nope. Or image, not tag, image rules. So image, let's say border radius. They want it rounded, so let's maybe do 10 pixels. And we um, have gone ahead and rounded those there. Now I can put an actual border on by giving it a border style and a border color and a border width. But for now, it's just rounding off those images. We want to add another dessert with their description and image with proper citation. Um, and then add any other styles. So let's add another dessert. If we go to HTML, the index.html file we've got all these fancy desserts right um, let's do something not as exciting let's do uh, let's do H no bake cookies that's what I like all right and then we'll go ahead and maybe get a picture of it Okay, so I went and found an image on uh, Creative Commons for No Bake Cookies. So I'm going to click uh, Add Image. You guys can uh, do whatever you want to do as far as adding desserts. And let's go ahead and pay, put this in here. IMG space SRC equals. And then in quotes, you need the image, oh, which is that one. Let's go back over to here. And two, five, there we go. And we'll give it some alt text. Alt equals no bake cookies. All right, so now I'm just going to do a paragraph with my attribution. And there it is. Alt equals, what's wrong with my alt? I forgot my quotes. There we go. Okay. And let's refresh and save. Still showing up. So there's a problem with this. So image SRC equals. Oh, I put the. I closed the tag out early. There we go. And that looks good. And that's it.